Okay, so like I said, got to make the spindles now. Got to know <clears throat> the size I need to make them. So to do that and determine it, I had to mark out here, here, and on the same spots on the other side where I'm going to be drilling a 1 32nd inch hole to locate my A arms. Now, we'll be taking both sets of my lower A arms, drilling holes through the bushings with 1 32nd inch, and I'm going to drill one hole through here to mount my spindles. And then I can determine how big my arms need to be. When you drill these holes, make sure your drill bit's sticking out just as little as possible. Since this is so small, 1 seconds, these bits tend to bend easily. If you were to take this and move it on out to here and drill, you'd see the bit kind of flopping. Where I've got it right now, you can see it's just rolls really straight. That'll help you. These things are so small that you don't need to move at all. But you're you know, real straight, real steel. So that'll help out a lot with it. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this with the camera rolling if I can. Uh, to do the drills, I took my, my blade, stuck it right there, kind of in the center of that tube, and just moved it back and forth a little bit to make a dimple. That'll tell my drill bit where to start. Just set it on there and start pulling the trigger. Um, don't try to drill these without holding them something or you're just gonna break them. So I'm gonna use this pair of pliers. It's a flat edge there, so I won't mess anything up. Now let's see if I can do this on camera. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, let's see. Get it straight. Not going to be able to do it on camera, guys. <laughs> okay, so I got all the holes drilled. And I drilled it through the A-arms. <coughs> excuse me, the A-arms. And you can see it moves now. I got the piano wire sticking through it. All I have to do is cut this to size and glue it in place when I'm ready for it. Uh, you don't have to use piano wire. You can use just a piece of wire from anything that's small enough to go through here, a bread tie. Um, I've got a little piece of copper wire that's armature wrapping wire that I use for a few things. It fits right through it. Anything like that will fit. You can see it's not glued in place, it just falls right out. Okay, I started building the spindles. All oh, they are. A piece of styrene bar stock. Um, I don't know the size of that bar stock. It's just whatever you decide to choose to use. Be fine. It can be bigger than this. It can be smaller than this if you can make it work. And a piece of uh, styrene rod. It's 564 in diameter. I know that because that's the drill bit I used to drill a hole through this piece of uh, rectangle stock to put the rod through and glue it in place. I left it a lot longer than what I know I'm going to need it. Got it installed on this wheel. And what I'm going to do here is cut where I want the bottom to be. And I want it to be just a little above the bottom of the rim for this particular one. The way you can tell that is by setting your tire in place and seeing where your A-arms are going to be. Mine on the bottom is just going to be at a pretty decent angle coming up to the bottom. At the top it's going to be a pretty drastic angle actually. Uh, but that's okay because these aren't going to move. It's just going to be a static display. So it's no big deal there. So now I'm going to cut my spindles down to the length I need them. Okay, so this is what the spindles ended up looking like on the wheel. You can see about how much room there is between the spindle and the wheel. And I drilled a small 130, or three, th yeah, 332nd inch hole here. 132nd inch hole there. I'll get that straight in a minute. And put a piece of 132nd inch rod in it. And glued it in place. Same with this one. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But now, I'm going to put my A-arms in place, pin them, not going to glue them in place or anything. Then I'm going to set the wheels and tires under it, set my spindles on it, and get everything set up, and I'm going to glue all that in place now, once it fits inside the truck. So that will be coming up. Okay, so here's the result of what work we've done now. You can see the wheels and tires fit under here. And then that's what it looks like for now. Uh, nothing's mounted permanently, just sitting under here. Till the next step. And the next step, <clears throat> I, uh, even though I make these where they'll move, a lot of times I don't even pin the upper arm. I just glue it in place once I've got the lowers in place. Because what I'll do now is once these are in, set up the way I know exactly like I want them, I'll just go ahead and glue these in place so they'll actually hold the wheels and tires in place. 
and the upper A arms are just a matter of looks from that point, whatever way I want them to look like. <clears throat> uh, this video is turning out to be extremely long, so the set I said it's going to make to move, I'm going to do that in another video, and I'll explain the geometry in another video because I think I'm already up to about 20 minutes. So uh, I'm going to finish these off, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the result of what work we've done now. You can see the wheels and tires fit under here. And then that's what it looks like for now. Uh, nothing's mounted permanently, just sitting under here. Till the next step. And the next step, <clears throat> I, uh, even though I make these pretty little move, a lot of times I don't even pin the upper arm. I just glue it in place once I've got the lowers in place. Because what I'll do now is once these are in, set up the way I know exactly like I want them, I'll just go ahead and glue these in place so they'll actually hold the wheels and tires in place. And the upper A arms are just a matter of looks from that point, whatever way I want them to look like. <clears throat> uh, this video is turning out to be extremely long, so the set I said it's going to make to move. I'm going to do that in another video, and I'll explain the geometry in another video because I think I'm already up to about 20 minutes. So uh, I'm going to finish these off, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is. I said I wasn't going to hinge these, <clears throat> but I went ahead and hinged them anyway, at least on here. And what this will do is just... Uh, Move down against the top of my spindle. I'll glue that in place. Same with this other side, which I got the spindle off a little bit on this one. I got to rework it. But uh, I'll just glue right there. I'll glue the uh, bushing joints in place, and everything will be solid and mounted. And that's it. So, not very difficult to do at all. And here's the final result. Uh, get this off of here. That's what it looks like. I've got everything glued in place now, so this is solid. Except for the wheels and tires, I can take these off and show you. I did not pay attention when I was building it and got this one off a little bit the spindles a little crooked um, could have went back and repaired it all but again it's, this is something that it's really hard to see inside the model anyway and you're never going to notice that spindles bent so I didn't repair it only other thing I'm going to do now is I'll attach something you know here on one of these spindles sticking forward or back whichever way you want to go uh, for the pitman arms for your steering arms to hook up to and you're pretty much done. Uh, I just made my spindles out of this little rectangle stock, real simple shape. If you want it, you can go all out, carve it up, make it look like an actual spindle, however you want to do. Again, I've just built enough of these now to know you can't see them. So I don't put that much time and effort into those anymore. I just try to make the A arms, the parts you can see, look good. And it did turn out okay. Now I've just got to build some tiny airbags to put in here and here build some airbag mounts and again that's kind of a waste of time because you can't see them <laughs> but I always do that part so that's it like I said I'll get around to doing the, the uh, video on the ones that move soon really the only difference between the ones that move at least in the construction and the way it's built and these is that on this plate, the top plate of the A arm, I would have another small plate hanging down with a hole drilled through it. And I would have cut a slot in the side of the spindle. And that slot would have fit over the plate that would have been glued to this A arm and a hole drilled through it. Done top and bottom the same way. That way it would move and hold the pendle, spindle, pendle, the spindle straight. So anyway guys, uh, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be over 20 minutes long. Uh, I'm probably looking at about a 3 hour load time for this one, so I'm going to shut up now. And hopefully I explained this well enough so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you guys have fun, and let's see what you come up with.